so okay, you eradicate Hamas. There's a question about whether you can do that. Eradicate an idea. We have no but question, by the of, way. We know we can do it. All right. Well, you get rid of Hamas. What happens post Hamas in Gaza? What happens to two million people in Gaza? What do you think should happen? So I think the Israeli government's uh, vision at the moment is in order to have a better future, both to the Palestinians and to the Israelis, Gaza must be demilitarized and Gaza must be de-radicalized. Is you there do. still a chance for a two-state solution? I think it's about time for the world to realize the Oslo paradigm failed on the 7th of October and we need to build a new one. And it Why it failed, <clears throat> okay? Uh, yes, it's October 7th was, I, we have said it was uh, a terrible attack, but who uh, destroyed that uh, Os Oslo agreement? Who did it? Of course, some radical Israelis by killing the one who signed it, Ishaq Rabin, okay, your own prime minister, you killed it because he wrote that uh, uh, peace agreement. So who destroyed it? Not seven, October 7th, it was destroyed long time ago by you. In but, order to build a new does that one, new one include the Palestinians living in a state of their own? Is, think, is that what it I includes? I think the biggest question is what type of Palestinians are on the other side? This is what Israel no, realized. They have a state, the, the answer is absolutely no, and I'll tell you why. Well, then, because how, okay, so you said it absolutely no. There is no two state solution, <clears throat> and we know it, uh, uh, we have known it for many, many years that you do not want. Uh, I will play later also <clears throat> uh, these radical Israelis say kill them all, kill all Arabs, yeah, destroy, you know, I mean, flatten Gaza, kill two and a half million people. For them, it's no problem. I mean, I don't know, ISIS and Adolf Hitler, uh, they are the same, okay, these people, when they say the same thing. I play for you later uh, that part. Can at the moment, no, I want to answer you. The reason there is no peace Israel is because the Palestinians... How can, with, without offering Mark, a state to Palestine, how Mark, can there be peace in Israel? Israel knows today, and the world should know now. The reason the Oslo Accords failed is because the Palestinians never wanted to have a state next to Israel. They want to have a state from the river to the sea. So the two states... No, okay, it's a big lie because they wrote the uh, peace agreement, okay, and they uh, recognized and even... Uh, Saudi Arabia, I mean, UAE, other Saudi Arabia was also going to recognize Israel, but you do not want the two state solution. Okay, you showed it very clear, very, very clear by killing your own prime minister who wrote the peace agreement. Okay, so please don't lie, don't think that we are uh, stupid. Okay.